Hey fam, welcome back to Tarot Lifestyle and Vlog and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the UK re-entry ban. Okay, I'm going to be talking about what it is, what causes a UK re-entry ban, um, the time scale of the ban and also what you can do if you've had a ban on your application or re-entry into the UK. But before I go on, my name is Tari and on this channel, we talk about UK visas and immigration. We talk about our life in the UK, how to safely and successfully travel to the UK and how to navigate your life as an immigrant living in the UK. Now, if this sounds like something you're interested in, then please subscribe, turn on your bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos going forward. And to my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I appreciate every single one of you. So what is a re-entry ban? So a re-entry, UK re-entry ban is a situation whereby someone is banned from returning or entering the UK. So this could be indefinitely, but this could also be for a period of time. Majority of the time is for a length of time. Okay. So so what are the causes of a re-entry ban? So what are the reasons why people could get banned from coming back to the UK? Okay, so there are so many reasons that are involved. So one of them is if you breach the conditions of your visa. And I said in my previous video uh, where I talked about working in the UK under a visitor's visa that every visa you get in the UK has some conditions that are attached to it. So those conditions are need to be met by yourself, whether a visitor's visa, a spouse visa, um, a student visa, whatever category of visa you've applied for, there are conditions that are attached to it. So if you breach the conditions of those visa, one of the consequences is that you could get a ban on your visa. So it's not straightforward, but that's a possibility. So another, another um, thing that could cause you from being banned from re-entering the UK is if you have overstayed in the UK. So if you've overstayed in the UK for a certain period of time, so maybe you have a visa that allows you to stay in the UK for six months and you've stayed up to seven months or six months and one week or six months and two weeks, you have overstayed your visa. So some people stay one year after the expiry of their visa and then they are caught by immigration, the UK immigration and sent back to their home countries. Okay, some people stay longer, some people stay for one reason or the other, some people are not aware that their visas are expired. So there are many different reasons why people could overstay, but if you're caught in the UK as an overstayer, you could get a re-entry ban. The reason why you could be banned from the UK is if you enter the country illegally. So you've come into the country illegally, maybe through small boats or whatever means you've come and you haven't made yourself known to the authority to say actually I've come here illegally but this is the reason or that is the reason or maybe you want to claim asylum, you haven't done that and then you were caught or maybe you came in the pretense of someone else and then you got caught, you could get a ban from coming back to the UK. So you'll be caught and sent back to your country, obviously, and then you won't be able to come back to the UK. Okay, so the other one reason why you could get a ban from the UK is if you've filled in your application in the section. So you've filled in an application and you've given wrong information or you've withheld information, you could get a ban. And I've done videos previously, which I'll link up here, where I said you need to, you need to and disclose any information so previous immigration and deportation whatever thing it is a refusal of your visa in the past you need to include all those in your application where you will ask the, the question if you've been sent back from an airport or from a country you need to put it all down if you've hidden those information you haven't lied about them but you haven't disclosed them if the home office finds out they could ban you because you haven't been and true, you're not being truthful. Okay, so if you've, you if you've deceived, you've put deception, you've applied for your application through deception in any way, which I cannot think of right now. Uh, but if you've put in the wrong information or you've not put in some information, you've lied in your application, you could get a ban from the UK. So basically, you will get a ban from the UK if you have not complied to the laws of immigration okay so that's just what it is if you've not complied to the rules and regulations of the uk immigration you could get a ban okay and the ban could be for several years it could be for two years it could be for three years it could be for five years it could be for ten years so between one year and ten years or it could be indefinitely 
okay so depending on your crime depending on your circumstance and um, that will determine what your bank will be for so i'm going to be reading from my ipad just what it says about the time scale for the ban and how it could apply to you okay so it says you get a one-year ban if you leave the uk voluntarily at your own expense within 30 days of your leave expiring so if you've been caught in the uk to have the and the find out that your leave has, your right to stay in the uk has expired maybe your visa has expired and you leave within 30 days at your own expense you will get a one year ban remember overstaying in the uk is a crime okay so the second one is a two to five year two or five year ban if you leave the uk voluntarily but at the home office expense depending on how soon you depart after notification of your liability of removal. So the UK Home Office have said, okay, you know what? We we'll notice that you've committed a crime. We're going to have to send you back to your country. Okay, if you leave at the Home Office expense, so I they pay for your flight and then send you back, it could be either a two or five year ban. So if you if you depart soon after your um, your the liability the notification of liability of removal you could get it two years but if you stay longer you could get it five years okay so that's what it's saying okay so it says a 10-year ban for those subject to an enforced removal or deportation as well as those who use deception in application so this is so important if you've used deception in your application that is 10 years Okay, so when I say disclose information, when, you are, when you're applying for a visa, if you have a criminal record, you want to disclose it. If you've been deported from the UK or any other country, you want to deport, you want to disclose it. It doesn't mean that your visa will be refused if you disclose this information, but if you don't disclose them, then that is deception. If you feel any wrong information on your application, okay, if you've hidden some information, then you could get a 10-year ban okay 10 years okay so that's huge that's really huge okay so it says uh, so those that are that are subject to an enforced removal or deportation so if you've been forced to remove to be removed you've been forced to leave so they are going to deport you forcefully then that is a 10-year ban okay so these are just some of the, the situations where you could get a ban in the uk okay so what do you do so if you've got a one year two year five years or a 10 year ban to uh, to re-enter the uk what do you do so sometimes these um situations could be a mistake say for instance someone's visa has expired and they don't know okay so in that case what you can do is you can actually appeal speak to a solicitor to appeal stating the reason why you overstayed in the first place okay so you want to appeal the decision that has been made by the home office if you know that it's a mistake if you've been banned for 10 years and you don't think that's right then you also want to appeal when you appeal it it doesn't mean that the decision is going to be overturned but you know that you have a genuine reason why this happened then you want to appeal otherwise the other option is just to wait it out so wait it out so if you've been banned for one year you just need to wait for one year and then reapply if you've been banned for two years five years or ten years you want to wait for that length of time and then reapply and when you reapply you want to make sure that you're telling the home office how your circumstance has changed so yes i came to the uk and i was banned for one year but since then this this this, this was the reason behind it and this is the reason and i would strongly advise that you get a solicitor involved as well otherwise they will keep refusing your visa because in your head if this person has uh, broken immigration rules before if this person has not complied in the past how are we sure that this person is going to comply now okay so you want to get a solicitor involved put statements in put in whatever circumstance has changed for you and then put your application in okay and i wish you all the best even as you uh, do your application i don't pray that you get a ban but if you do get a ban or you already have a ban then these are the circumstances these are the conditions and then what you can also do about it okay and if you haven't got a ban you just need to be careful make sure that you're not breaching the conditions of your visa make sure you are complying with immigration rules and hopefully you won't get a ban i hope this video has been helpful to someone if it has helped you give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so but thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video